If you're like me, you've probably wondered how much of a difference RAM speeds make in terms of gaming performance and how much they negatively or positively affect performance as a whole. In this video, I'm hoping to answer your questions and my own as we do a deep dive into everything there is to know about RAM speeds and how much they affect gaming performance in the real world. Let's get into it. Many say that the amount of RAM in actual gigabytes is far more important than the speed, but I'd have to say they go hand in hand. All those gigabytes of memory aren't going to do you any good if they're unbearably slow. To be fair, most people assume that the range of RAM speeds you're going to be comparing from and looking at are going to be in the modern DDR4 range, which is between 2100 MHz and beyond. So if you're looking at it from that perspective with 2100 MHz being the absolute slowest possible speed that you can have, then it can be assumed that you're not going to see much of a difference. However, we'll have to find out if that actually stands true. In this day and age, 16 gigabytes of RAM at around 3000 megahertz is the recommended amount and speed, so that's what we're going to be using for this video. Quick note, aside from the sticks of RAM that I'm currently using in my system, I don't have any other sticks of RAM that are currently compatible with this motherboard and CPU. So we're just going to have to be doing the RAM speed adjustments artificially in BIOS by just changing the profile and moving it down to the lowest possible speed, which happens to be 2100 megahertz, which is the slowest speed that you can have on DDR4. And yes, the RAM I have is DDR4, I forgot to mention that. As for the tests and benchmarks that I plan to do on each separate speed of RAM, I'm going to be doing a Cinebench test to see how this RAM speed affects CPU performance, and I'm going to be doing the Heaven benchmark test to see how it affects the GPU. Additionally, I'll be doing a Valorant gaming test at 1080p high settings for both of these speeds of RAM to see how much of a difference you're actually going to be able to notice in real world gaming, which probably isn't going to be that much. <sighs> All right, so I've magically run the test instantaneously, and now we're going to see what the results are. Starting with the 3000 megahertz RAM in the Valorant gaming test at high settings at 1080p, we averaged around 127 frames per second, which is about expected for my GPU and CPU pair up of the GTX 1650 and the Ryzen 5 1600. In the two benchmarking softwares I used, my system performed, as expected again, mustering a score of 936 in Heaven benchmark with an average FPS of 38.2. It also gained around 5,900 points in the multi-thread test in Cinebench. So using this as the, I don't want to say it, but as the benchmark for the slower speed RAM, we're going to be seeing how much of a percentage decrease we can actually see in performance. So now onto the 2100 megahertz RAM. As it turns out, the average FPS in Valorant for this slower speed RAM is nearly identical to the higher speed RAM. We're getting an average of 123 FPS, which to be honest, if you were to average the FPS out on two separate occasions using this PC with the same speed of RAM, that little bit of like four to five FPS FPS difference isn't really going to indicate that anything's changed. So whether we want to attribute that decrease in performance to the RAM or not, moving on to the other benchmarks, we can clearly see that there is a noticeable difference in these. So in Cinebench, my system with the slower clocked RAM scored 5,853 points in the multi-thread test. Comparing that to the original base speed, we can see that the 2100 MHz RAM makes the system about 1% slower in terms of CPU performance. In Heaven Benchmark, the system scored 936 points, 
with an average FPS of 37.2. Again, comparing that to the original test that I have done, the slower RAM slows down or decreases the performance of the GPU and graphical performance by a total of 2.8%. What should we take away from these tests? Using this data, we can definitely see how this RAM speed affects different components in the PC differently. It definitely doesn't affect the CPU quite as much as the GPU, but both drop downs in performance aren't noticeable in the real world, which I expected, and they can really only be seen on paper. So within DDR4 or DDR5, I just remembered that's a thing now, you're not gonna see any real difference and that means you shouldn't buy upgraded RAM just for the sake of buying RAM that has a higher speed. That doesn't mean, however, that you shouldn't upgrade the actual size of your memory because that does have very large implications on performance. So now you know how much RAM speeds really change performance, at least within the DDR4 generation of RAM. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, and it gave you some more information, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below, like this video, and leave any feedback if you do have some for me in the comment section below. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.